Let's talk about air masses. An air mass is a large body of air that has the same temperature and water vapor content. Air masses can be huge, covering hundreds or thousands of square miles. An air mass takes on the characteristics of the surface region or the area over which it forms. So an air mass that forms over the ocean is going to be humid. An air mass that forms over the land is going to be dry. If it forms over a warm area, it's going to be warm air. If it forms over a cold area, it's going to be cold air. And when an air mass moves, it carries these characteristics with it. So there are five air masses that affect the United States. We'll take a brief look at each one. As we look at each air mass, what's important to remember are the abbreviations and what those abbreviations actually mean. Here's our first air mass, the maritime polar air mass. Maritime would represent an air mass that forms over the ocean. Polar represents an air mass that forms over a cold region of the earth. Notably, this is above the equator. So these are, um, you know, far up into the northern hemisphere. These represent colder climates. So the air masses that we're talking about in this case the maritime polar air masses carry a lot of cold, moist air. And if we track them over the course of a typical season, they typically move like this. And that's partially because of the jet stream and some of the other prevailing winds. They're going to bring your cold and wet air to the regions that they affect. The next air mass, maritime tropical. So now we stick with the maritime right? So that's still wet or moist air, but the tropical portion, tropical, think of the tropics, think of warm. Um, these are air masses that form over the ocean in tropical locations. So this is warm and moist air. And these air masses follow a typical pattern that looks something like this. Again, affected by the jet stream being pushed west to east, but also being pushed up to the northeast. Our next air mass is the continental Arctic. Now, we're not talking about maritime anymore. This is not over the ocean, this is over land. So continental means dry air, air that um, doesn't have a lot of moisture. Arctic is, as it suggests, very, very cold air. So this is very cold, very dry air that forms over central Canada and gets pushed down our way. You've heard it before in different terms, the polar vortex, if you've uh, listened to weather reports, it's somehow associated with this air mass and how it moves. This is very cold air that when it descends into our area, especially in these upper northern states, it brings some really, really cold temperatures. And then our um, next polar air mass is a continental polar air mass that forms a little bit lower, so not central Canada, maybe northern United States. This again is a dry and cold air mass, and it follows a very similar path, which pushes over most of the eastern United States. And then there's one more air mass, the continental tropical. So again, continental means dry, it formed over land, not a lot of water vapor. And then tropical, it's closer to the equator, we're talking about much warmer air, and that gets pushed up from Mexico into the central United States. So once again, these five air masses are what affect the weather in the United States on a day-to-day, -day, week to week, monthly basis. Um, most of the seasonal changes we are used to are directly affected by these air masses and how they shift north or south depending on the season. Once again, they represent air that has picked up the characteristics of the surface that they sit over or they form over, their source region. So these air masses literally get formed in different parts of the earth during different seasons and get pushed around by the jet stream and they interact. Now in your reference table on page 13, there's this uh, quick chart um, about air masses. It gives you their symbols, 
if they do appear on a weather map or a region's question, but you do need to know what the words mean. So just once again, um, so you see it in print, continental means dry air, maritime means wet air. And then on the temperature side, the words tropical means warm air, polar, like a polar bear, means cold air, and then arctic, like the Antarctic, means very, very cold air. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.